climbing, especially from low elo, is all about learning the fundamentals and building them into habits. Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be taking a look at the 5 crucial tips to climb from low elo. Climbing in Lee can be incredibly difficult because of all the unknown concepts that you have to tackle. It requires discipline, patience, and a lot of learning. And that being said, it's always possible to climb to your dream rank with enough dedication. In today's video, we're going to be diving into our 5 crucial tips, why they're important, and how you can begin using them during your climb. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right into this video. Starting us off strong, we've got one big tip of limiting your champion pool. This can also be known as one-tricking for most of the league player base. Being a one-trick or having a significantly small champ pool can be one of the easiest changes to make in order to climb. Before we jump into the benefits of being a one-trick, let's talk about the kinds of champions that you should attempt this with. If you're looking to stick with a single champion, you'll climb incredibly fast but can also be exhausting and can get repetitive. Be sure to pick a champion that you enjoy and can spend hours playing. This usually helps by figuring out what playstyle you find enjoyable, what champion themes you like, and overall, what champion you just vibe with. While we recommend picking an easy champion, some of you thrive on mechanics and need to be constantly simulated in order to focus. Just pick a champion that goes well with who you are and what you enjoy. That being said, just keep in mind that the harder the champion you pick, the harder your climb will be. This is also true for if you decide to pick up a weak or F tier champion. We're not saying Morgana and Skarner mains can't climb the ladder, but maybe there are some better champions to pick for some easier success. Now that you picked out your 1-2 to two champions, let's talk about why one tricking is such a powerful strategy. League is an incredibly complex game that looks really simple on the outside, sometimes. At the end of the day, your goal is just to take the enemy's base before they take yours. However, the game is broken up into multiple phases, matchups, itemization options, team compositions, macro strategies, and more. In order to remedy the amount of information you have to process and think about, it's best to eliminate anything excessive that you don't need. By one tricking a champion, you are able to create complete muscle memory of that character. All of their combos, their laning phase, their team fighting, what items they can build, what matchups they have, etc. All of these things, with enough time and practice, can become muscle memory. For example, if you're playing Samara vs Draven, you're likely to constantly be reminding yourself about your all-in combo. While you're doing that, you're thinking about the range of your auto attacks so that you can properly trade. You also have to consider that to win a 1v1, he can't have his stand aside. Alongside these matchup specifics, you still have to look at the map and watch for roams, keep track of the wave management, and more. If you're a Samara one trick, you can easily eliminate most of these issues with muscle memory, which gives you more time and space to watch the rest of the map and plan ahead. You know that you have to queue or auto first before you can dive in. You know that your W will eat his axes, but you need to wait out his E or you'll die. You know that once everything lines up and he missteps, you can auto, Q, auto, W, E, auto, and ult for the kill. Rather than having to think about all of this, your brain power can be focused on the rest of the game, planning ahead, watching the map, and calling for plays. Knowing the ins and outs of your champion as well as your matchups and itemization choices is really what makes being a one-trick so powerful. Before we continue on to our next few tips, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new courses and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So, what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family! Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we need to remind you all to learn basic wave management. To climb out of low elo, you don't necessarily need to master wave control, but at least have a good grasp of the basics. And yes, this includes junglers and supports. Being able to understand wave states is a powerful tool in League of Legends. It allows you to plan ahead and figure out what you need to do if you need to fix a wave or just leave it as is. If you're a laner, you can easily just crash a wave and take a reset so you don't miss on any minions. You can also bounce a wave and let your jungler know that in one minute, the enemy will be close enough to your turret for a gank. Speaking of which, as a jungler, you can watch wave states as you clear so you can go ahead and plan ahead for your next gank. These are only a few great examples of what wave management can do for you. While we won't be able to cover wave management too in depth, we do offer a great and updated wave management guide so you can slowly begin mastering it. Let's just talk about some of the basic concepts that you can get the basics of. If you're looking to climb, learning to freeze waves is game changing as it'll let you punish the enemy and or keep yourself safe. This is done by having more minions than the enemy depending on how far towards your turret that you want to freeze. It's usually no minions in the middle, one minion a third of the wave, and two to three minions if you want it as close to your tower as possible. Next, you'll want to know how to fast push. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but just look to crash the wave as quickly as possible. This is often done by using your abilities and attacks to hit the entire wave. When fast pushing, you're often looking to get a reset or you're looking to rotate to a fight. Finally, the last absolute basic that you should learn is how to slow push. 
Slow pushing requires you to consistently have more minions than the enemy, and you'll have to stop them from attacking the minions too much. This builds up a massive wave that can be used to dive, poke under turret, or you can just crash it before an objective so the enemy is forced to stay rather than rotate, or they would lose out on too much. Moving on to our next crucial tip, we've got play with meaning or play with purpose. This may seem like a really basic concept, but you'd be surprised how often people fail at doing this. Playing with meaning is as simple as playing League with the intent of wanting to improve. This means that you're looking to improve at something in each game, and it is your goal every time you queue up. Players will often autopilot and queue for 10 games a day where they just mindlessly coin flip either by going 5-0 or 0-5. A more beneficial strategy is to play about 3 tryhard games where you're absolutely focused on winning and trying your best. You can use any access games to practice topics or strategies that you want to focus on. This is often done in normals or an alternate account. If you're trying to improve at CSing, make it your goal to hit 10 CS per minute every single game. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, what matters is that you're playing for and reaching that goal. Over time, these will become habits and you can continue to move on to new topics to master. To truly climb, avoid spamming pointless games and playing just for the sake of playing. Have a goal in mind, focus on it, and achieve it. And I know this isn't for everybody because I just like to just play. That's why I am a casual ARAM player now. Anyway, it can be difficult at first to try to stay focused an entire game, so we recommend that you use whatever that you need to keep yourself reminded. Whether that's a friend helping you out, a coach, or a sticky note on your monitor. Play with purpose of improving and trust us, you will climb with time. Now before we move on to the final tips, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is one tip that you'd give to a new ranked player? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we have our next crucial tip of practicing and taking notes. We know, we know, this feels like a flashback to being in school and studying for an exam. The difference here is that you're actually wanting to improve personally. I mean, why else would you be watching this video right now? Practice is never fun. It is easily one of the hardest things to get used to doing, but it pays off tremendously. While League isn't the same as traditional sports, with certain hardcore drills, scrimmages, and tools, it still offers great practice potential. In the older days of League, if you wanted to practice Riven combos, you'd have to join a custom game, buy your items by farming for 15 minutes, and then trying your combo. After you mess it up, you have to sit and wait for the cooldowns to return. Riot finally took the time a few years back to add a proper practice tool. Just be sure to use this tool to your advantage. You can endlessly practice your combos until they are perfect and become muscle memory. You can test the damage on your builds to know when they clear waves so you can rotate faster. You can even run CSing drills that can improve your CS during the laning phase. Using the practice tool is an amazing way to get better at the game and it is not to be underestimated. As for taking notes, you don't necessarily have to have a notepad or anything special. Some players use notebooks, some use sticky notes, and some have a personal Discord server, and others don't use notes at all and just mentally list things out. Whatever works best for you, just be sure to take notes on different aspects of the game that you're working on, and don't make mistakes more than once. If you're learning to manage waves, which wave state are you focusing on? How do you create that wave state? What is the benefit of it? What are the cons? If you're learning how to navigate a difficult matchup, you can experiment and see what needs to be done. I like to call this limit testing, other people like to say it's feeding. <laughs> Probably the latter. Anyway, do you win early or do you have to scale? Is there an item choice that can turn the tides? How do you need to play the early levels? Are your runes the same or do they need to be adjusted? There are a ton of different notes that you can take to improve your gameplay. Don't be afraid of information and asking the right questions. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard and sometimes you'll need help or someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join us! For our final tip to end off the video, we just want to let you know to be patient and trust the process. Improving at anything in life can be difficult. You're going to be making mistakes, you're going to doubt yourself, and you're going to feel like your time is being wasted if you don't see immediate progress. Understand that you are human, and that you will improve as time passes. Give it your all, and give yourself the time and space to mess up. You will get better. Just continue to believe in yourself. Low elo or not, you've taken the first step in your journey towards improvement. Don't sell yourself short. This is just the beginning to your dream rank. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our ProGuides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, but don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.